Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today I've got a brand new react for you guys. It is Ace Aura's Destiny Track. Ace Aura seems to be doing some pretty solid stuff in the industry right now with the collaboration of Cranked Out of Falling Earlier and the Gem World EP, which I haven't actually listened to as of yet. But, new song out on Monster Cat. This is Destiny. I'm excited for it. I'm super intrigued by Ace Aura's sound design style and production... Yeah, style is just the best word to put it. I don't necessarily love what he does on a regular basis or what he's done in the past, but his stuff recently, I guess, especially with Fallen and the few odd songs I heard of his off-label, off Monster Cat here and there, were, uh, were I was pretty big fans of them. So I'm interested to hear what this song's going to be like and uh, how I think of it. But, uh, you know, let's just uh, let's sort of just hop into it. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is Destiny by uh, Ace Aura. It's a nice long song, I like that. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Uncredited vocal list as well. This feels like an AU5 song stylistically in terms of its, uh, Layout, it's build and length and stuff so far, but just the template. Really interesting drop. It feels like a little more rhythmy and a little more of an empty track than Falling did. Or the I keep trying Falling, the feeling. That might take some getting used to for me personally, so far. But yes, when I've said falling, I meant the feeling with Crank Dad. My guess is this is gonna be like a deeply loved song from the community. The community is just going to love this. I forgot about Stay with Tynan too. A lot more melodic approach to this second half. Is he gonna stay that way? Nope. Good switch. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, Destiny by Ace Aura. Okay. Solar release. I want to say his first solar release. He had Stay with Tynan and The Feeling with Crank Dad. I got to correct myself from what I said earlier. Um, okay. 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 Uh, what a solid track. Uh, the first thing I'm going to mention is or a couple things. Um, this sounds like, I, I don't know if this is technically rhythm. I don't know if it is. It feels like it's a liquid rhythm if it would be just like kind of a little more, uh, a little more melodic, a little less intense, a little less in your face. Uh, this would be a really good introductory track into the rhythm genre, I would say. Uh, so someone like myself, uh, that we've talked about this a lot, where I, I don't like rhythm, I don't like the style, I don't like how aggressive it is and violent it is. Um, for the most part, this song, I really enjoyed. I, I really, really did enjoy. Um, even though I didn't absolutely love those drop sections and where it was that more rhythm style, rhythm-esque style to it, I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I would say it's a good introductory, or in, good introductory uh, song into that genre where it may not really be rhythm, but it's like, hey, this is starting to get on that path now. You're starting to go into this rhythm genre, this, this stuff. And so, um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, so that's, uh, that's my opinion on that, at least so far. Uh, second thing I want to say, it does it does sound very similar to the feeling I would say with Crank Dad, especially those first two drops. Technically, it's a four dropper. Um, the first half of the song, first two drops, it, it did sound a lot like the feeling, just with a little a little more emptiness in the track, uh, which is like a stylistic choice there, um, and uh, a little less uh, intense than I think the feeling was. A little less fleshed out, a little less dynamic, um, which is which is okay because I think that was that that was the style I was going for, and so uh, I I did really really enjoy the feeling and so i i would have listened to if it was just going to be those first two drops i think i would have listened to the feeling a little bit more so but this song felt a little more fleshed out uh, a little more it kind of knew where it wanted to go narratively throughout i would say it had uh, i like longer songs and so i like that it had four drops to it. it had an actual real first one verse two ending it didn't really have an outro type thing but um speaking of that last drop, I think, was my favorite of anything so far, uh, and that third drop was actually probably my least favorite. I, I don't know. It was, it was definitely more melodic dubstep. Was that third drop, and something about it just didn't sit well with me entirely. Uh, I didn't love where I felt like just hearing those first two drops and then knowing what the fourth drop was. That third drop felt like, oh, like that was just. It felt a lot more safe. It felt a lot more reserved, um, which I get, especially if this is going to be an introductory track for someone into rhythm. And so I, I do enjoy that in the sense of it's like, oh. Oh, here's the melodic stuff and now here's a little twist a little switch on the melodic uh, sound that you're used to hearing i'm assuming someone would have listened to melodic dub first and then here's this hard hitting stuff which um i enjoyed the most i think uh it set up that final uh movement really really well and so fantastic finale to it uh there was one more thing i was going to say i cannot quite remember oh yeah yeah um, it, it follows a very similar uh, AU5 template, which I'm just saying that just because there's a lot of people that are, um, I would say majority of people listening to this are majority Monster Cat fans. Uh, and so it follows very, very similar AU5 template of it being like even the four drops of having a long intro with a vocalist at some section with a bringing in and building that atmosphere uh, and then first drop and then like a little four, eight bar section into the second drop and then into the nether big kind of slow movement and then build it up and do that same thing again. So it's very, very, very similar template, I would say, song template to what A5 does, which is something that has done exceedingly well on Monster Cat in the past. And so I suspect that the song will be a fan favorite considering I enjoy it and it's got those rhythm aspects to it. Uh, and I don't normally like rhythm in that genre. So uh, big ups for Destiny, Ace Aura. If I had to give it a, like a score of something, I'd probably say like a probably like an eight out of 10 is probably where I, I think I would land for now. Um, again, for me, for some, for a song that sounds fairly rhythm like that's, that's huge. And so, um, I was a big fan of destiny. We'll see how much this grows on me, uh, in the future, but I'm in Bowtie Media. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of this track. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'd love to know every and all thoughts on the track in the comment section below. I'm in Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video.